Hi guys, so I somehow slow poked the release of the Stealth Burner and uh, well, as I'm going to upgrade my FASIC motor to LDO motor, um, I decided that this is good uh, occasion to showcase the differences between Clockwork Beta and uh, Clockwork to release. So this is a beta unit I'll be using for some time, like thousand hours or so. This is a release unit and let's quickly disassemble them and compare what is the actual difference and what is the new enhancements which are included in the release version of the clockwork. So let's take a look at the differences here. The back plate is uh, practically identical with a little much here and a little bit different uh, setup of the uh, heated inserts. The back of the back plate is generally the same. We have the same huge window to see what's going on inside the extruder and the small window to adjust your motor. Uh, the front plate are very similar, just the opening is a bit different and some of the screws uh, which uh, used to attach the motor plate are also placed differently. Uh, yet inside there is a huge difference because here you have a little flat uh, head screw which is used to push the uh, latch away from the um, driven toothed gear, meaning that uh, if you turn this out a bit, uh, you won't be able to push the filament uh, very strong, stronger than you intend to. So this is used for softer filaments, like softer TPUs, like 70A shore, uh, 60A shore scale, uh, so the extruder does not jam. Apart of that, these are basically identical, to the small cosmetic changes, this part is thinner, this part is thicker, a different locking uh, part here, but I would say that these are basically identical. Uh, the release latch, which I'm holding here, is a bit more lightweight, but generally we have the same approach and the same mechanism, apart again of this hole here, which is used to access this uh, TPU screw, this spacer screw, um, without disassembling the whole extruder. Uh, yeah, apart from that, the design is basically identical. Uh, the top part of the latching mechanism is also basically the same. Uh, well, it's a bit more lightweight, the tooth here, is a bit, the groove here is a bit deeper, so it might latch a bit better, but generally no big changes here, and the motor is still attached by the same set of screws. So what can I say here? Um, did they change something drastically? No. Did they have a lot of small upgrades and small modifications? Yes, and should you disassemble your old uh, Clockwork 2 to upgrade to the release version if you're using some of the betas? Yes, but only if you're having some extrusion problems or uh, you are using and printing softer filaments like 70 or 50A TPU uh, filaments, as I said before. So this is what I have for you today and good luck with your warrants guys, see you later.